So after many years of being interested in game development, I finally took the plunge to start learning everything I needed to know to start making games. I always felt overwhelmed by the amount of things that go into making a game. Programming, graphics, music, game design, the list goes on. So as someone with no programming experience or any pixel art knowledge, or any other way to make graphics for that matter, making my own games felt like an impossible task. So years later, I finally decided to give it a go and start from scratch. I downloaded Game Maker and I did a few tutorials to get myself familiar with the program and start learning Game Maker's programming language, GML. If you're learning GML yourself, check out Sean Spaulding's channel if you haven't already. I've learned pretty much everything I know about Game Maker from his tutorial videos. They're great. Anyway, after a few days, I got around the basics like getting the character moving on player input, jumping, objects interacting with each other in simple ways like enemies taking damage from bullets, guns shooting those bullets and the player dying on enemy contact. Now I wanted to put this new knowledge to the test and start working on my own game. I wanted to make something that would test my new skills but that was achievable. It needed to be short and simple but interesting enough that other people would want to play it. I knew I didn't want to make a platformer. I wanted something different but I thought I would stick to a side-scroller view since the top-down view would probably mean more character sprites. I also chose to go for 1-bit pixel art for the graphics. That way I wouldn't need to think about color when designing the sprites and tiles. So here's what I came up with, a 1-bit dungeon crawler in 2D. The game would be split into rooms, each room the size of the screen. I thought this would help keeping things concise and I liked the retro feel it added to it, kinda like the original Donkey Kong. I chose not to focus on combat since I thought that would probably complicate things along the way. So I went for a puzzle approach based on rock, paper, scissors. Enemies die in one hit, but the player needs to use the right weapon on them and only one weapon could be carried at a time. I wrote down all the components I would need to start building a prototype and I got to work on the logic. The player movement and enemy interactions were quite easy to implement since this pretty much used the same logic as the tutorials I've been learning from. However, getting the ladders to work was a bit more challenging. I managed to get the player to move on the y-axis only when in contact with the ladder object, but the player kept getting stuck a few pixels down into the floor when climbing down. This was my first big hurdle. I turned to Google and I found a few tutorials with more complex ways of implementing ladders. I was simply checking that the player was in contact with the ladder and I wanted to see if I could find a way to make it work instead of rewriting the code. I finally found a thread that was describing the same problem I was having. The issue seemed to be that the code was telling the player object to move multiple pixels down as long as there was nothing one pixel immediately below the player, which pushed the player down into the ground. Changing the place meeting function to check what's below the player based on its vertical speed rather than one single pixel did the job. I don't know if this is the best way to do ladders, but I learned something new and now the ladders are working as intended. So by the time I was finished with this version, I was able to move the character around, climb up and down ladders without any issues, pick up weapons, use the weapons to kill the right enemies, and move to the next room after reaching the exit. As you can see, I wasn't worrying about what things would actually look like and I focused only on implementing the basic mechanics, which allowed me to make good progress. If you found this video interesting or helpful, keep an eye out for the next one where I'll be talking about how I implemented more items, more levels, and expanded on the main mechanics. See you next time.